Cheers, Chris from 40 Thrive. And I'm excited to talk to you about something. And uh, I promise you, after a while, I'm going to stop doing these videos from inside my house. Uh, I live by Lake Erie. There's a big, beautiful lake and all this wonder wonderful scenery near me. And pretty soon, I'll be doing some videos around there, break up some of the scenery a little bit. Uh, but just waiting for the weather to break. And uh, sorry, as always, after I finish a workout, I always have, especially now with this congestion thing I've been dealing with, I have like this inner sinus pressure. I can hear my own voice. Like, I'm just trying to get rid of that. Okay, I think we're good now. That was weird. <laughs> um, so today I wanted to talk to you about something uh, anytime I have a little bit of a breakthrough in my routine, I want to share it with you. I've mentioned before on this show that, uh, or this channel, that I, I've been seeing great results with this lifestyle I've been leading. But there's been some areas that, uh, that I'm, I'm not seeing as much results in as, as I would like. Um... Uh, Primarily my upper body. Excuse me. Sorry not to be all gross and sinusy and mucusy, but this is annoying when I'm trying to talk and I can just hear my own voice just like like a blown out speaker in my ear. Anyway. Um, well, sometimes you're doing too much of the wrong exercises. There it goes again. And not enough of another. You know, you, you could be doing the same routine and, and not seeing the progress and thinking to yourself, well, I'll just keep at it. Well, listen to your body, you know. Um, if, if you're not seeing growth in an area, then try a different exercise or try, maybe you're just not doing enough. It really just depends. Um, I've always incorporated some push-ups and some some uh, some chest flies, some some presses into my workouts, and I wasn't seeing any growth in my chest. And somewhere along the way, I got the idea of, and I don't know where this came from, I, I don't remember where I heard it from, but I got the idea of doing 100 push-ups a day. And the goal is to try and do them 100 consecutively, but very few of us can do that. But the goal is to try and get as far as you can before you finally give out and then take a small break and pick right back up and keep going until you hit 100. Now, in my younger days, when I was first trying to get into shape, I used to do three sets of 20 and, all right, I feel a little bit of growth in my chest and I'll call it a day. But there's something to be said about just going and going and going. So I reached 100 and I was like, that was that was great. Like, it felt great to say that I'm doing 100 push-ups and... So my goal throughout the week was to see how many I can do before I give out. And it went from me being able to do 20, to 25, to 30, to 35. Today I did 40 before I had to stop. And I just keep telling myself, I'm going to do the 100 today. Today I'm going to reach 100, like before I even have to quit. And so I just keep getting further and further. Lo and behold... Um, you know, I know after a workout, we all feel a little bit pumped. We're, you know, this is not how we're going to look the rest of the day. But lo and behold, I looked in the mirror and I was seeing some titty. I was like, wow, that's, I mean, you should have seen it before. <laughs> but it was, I was like, I've never looked like that. I was almost like, did I get stung by a bee? What's going on? Why am I swelling up like this? Like, I had not seen that kind of growth. So sometimes it just goes to show you that you just need to do more of something and maybe spend less time doing things that aren't really working out for you. Like, I don't know. I mean, maybe I do need to do more more chest flies, more, more bench press. Maybe I do. But those push-ups and giving myself that personal goal of I want to hit 100, all of a sudden I saw growth where I had never seen it before and not to that extent. And I was pretty excited about that. And for those of you with naturally big chest, shut up. Okay. I've always been a bird chested, uh, little wimp. And, uh, this is, this is, this is big for me. So anyway, 
Uh, always be proud of your progress. Don't compare yourself to others. Don't allow others to uh, ever criticize you because if anybody's wasting their time and energy in criticizing you, that says a lot about them. All right? So that's, that's one thing. So I do want to tell you to try this challenge with me. Try this 100 push-up challenge with me. Make that your goal. If you're, if you're, and even if you're not looking for gains in your chest, just do it. It's, it's, it's fun. Um, cause now I'm up to 200 a day. If I can do hundred, I can do 200 because basically after you do that first set where your arms finally give out, I can only go about 20 or so, you know, in, in sessions after that. So I just keep going till I hit 200 and it's like, okay, how many more am I going to do? Like after that, that's enough. Like you don't want to overwork a muscle too much because then you actually start to break it down. And we don't want to we don't want to lose what I've gained. So, uh, and then I just went on to do some other things uh, like bent over rows. I went on to do deadlifts and squats and uh, hip hinges. So that brings me on to the second breakthrough of my routine lately. As we know, I've hit my uh, one year keto anniversary. Uh, earlier this week, and I've made some adjustments. Um, last night, I managed to rein it in and get to bed with only one drink, one one small serving of alcohol before I went to bed last night because alcohol is a real major disruptor of sleep, and, and avoid it as much as you possibly can. I'm not saying you have to abstain from drinking entirely, but for the love of God, don't get more than like a two drink buzz on before bed. You're really hurting yourself. Um, but speaking of that, I've been using fruit as a means of cutting back on my alcohol. Instead of going for that second glass of wine, instead of going for that second glass of whiskey, have a piece of fruit. I've been incorporating fruit back into my diet for a couple different reasons. A, um, it was ketosis is a wonderful thing and and eating keto is a wonderful thing um it is however very hard for your muscles to retain any sort of fluid uh, or glycogen uh so you can use keto as a means of, of giving your body a hard reset and then from there you can determine whether you should stay in ketosis all the time uh you know, what you feel is your, your, your body's budget, you know, what you can afford to fit back in. And for me, I really felt I could afford to add back in some fruit for a couple different reasons. A, it, I mentioned before, helps cut back on the alcohol. Two, it's adding glycogen back into my muscles. Um, and I have to say, last night I came home ravenous. I, I thought I managed to eat well enough throughout the day. Um, and when I got home, I was starving. So I didn't want to just go for something like fruit while I'm hungry, uh, because that's teaching my body that, okay, if you're hungry, I'm going to feed you sugars and, and then my body's going to get adapted to sugars. I broke that. We'll call it a minor fast. Whenever you're, you're hungry, that's technically fasting, I guess. I broke that with a protein, some very sharp cheese, some bacon, followed by a nice big old hunk of, of dark, dark chocolate, followed by I finally sat down on the couch, had myself a nice bowl of yogurt and some chopped fruit, mango, uh, strawberry, a little bit of cantaloupe. That's it. Had my small sip of whiskey and... I felt myself getting tired and wanting to nod off, and that was my signal saying, you don't need any, any more whiskey, the fruit is doing what it's supposed to do, it's, it's, it's giving you that sense of like, okay, let's, let's go to bed. There's something about that. So, uh, that's a little tip I, I picked up off of uh, Andrew Huberman. He uh, enjoys something sweeter towards nighttime, some fruit, um, and that somehow triggers his body to go into like sleep mode. And it's working for me. And I slept like a baby last night and I still haven't eaten yet. So I'm still able to go into my next day with a fast. Um, it is now almost 1030 at night, 
Don't mind me as I scratch my ass. You scratch your ass. I know you do. And um, it's weird how oddly comfortable I've gotten doing these things in my underwear. I'm not going to show you. They're a nice pair of underwear, though. Stripey. Is it? No, we're not doing that. Um, so, yeah, I feel incredible. And, uh, you know, I know everybody's different, but if, if, you know, what I'm doing is a testament to maybe how, um, uh, this could possibly benefit you, you know, I, I hope that this is giving you some sort of, uh, um, some sort of motivation, some sort of encouragement. So anyway, that's it. Basically, I was able to work out like a beast today. I don't know if it's the 200 push-ups, just really getting me going getting using that as almost more like a workout i do that or as a, a warm-up i do that before i get into my workout on top of the cold shower but i, I really feel like the, the fruit is kind of kind of beneficial at this point um and uh it's it's so far it's not affecting my i i i, I, I must still be in ketosis because i'm not hungry right now all i've had so far is just black coffee so Cheers. Um, I'm, I'm very proud of you for, for wanting to partake in this. And I'm more than happy to answer questions. And uh, I want to see all of us continue to thrive. Don't let age, don't let any, don't, don't let any preconceived notion, you know, don't let something that someone else assigned to you, oh, you're this, you're, you know, diabetic, uh, you're overweight, you're, uh, whatever, whatever clinic, clinical term they've assigned to you, don't let that stop you because you can reverse damn near about anything with a little bit of physical activity and restricting your sugar and carb intake. So please continue to, uh, watch these videos, please share with whoever you feel this will benefit. Uh, and if you have not already, please click the like and subscribe button. Cheers. My name is Chris with 40 Thrive. We'll see you next time.